Howdy guys, Mac Double Tap. So, uh, I was thinking that I was horribly uh, killed for making video today because of the rain. And then, lo and behold, the UPS guy shows up, or FedEx or whoever it was, and uh, I get a couple of boxes from Cedar Mill Fine Firearms, and we can make some videos today. So, I appreciate that. Uh, so, not everybody knows who Cedar Mill is. And to be honest with you, I really didn't know all that long ago who they were. So, uh, Cedar Mill does not make or produce firearms. They produce stuff to protect your firearms. And uh, this is kind of a, you know, beginning of the review i'm i'm gonna do a little bit of uh you know a a, a, a solid going over uh, each of these products separately uh but they sent me their uh and these did not come with firearms i just went ahead and put some in here they sent me this is their pick and pick and pluck pistol case and then uh it has a foam insert, solid foam insert for Glock. Now, I am going to use this for a, uh, a Glock 36. Uh, this is unloaded, by the way. It's an empty pistol. I just threw an empty magazine in it for the video. But uh, it comes with your standard... You know, the pick and pluck foam that you can make match any gun you want. And then you can also order this very well stuck in there solid foam insert that is pre-milled exactly for the, you know, the way the box lays in there. And it fits just beautifully. Uh, I'm going to put a... You know the long slide Glock. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna make one of these polymer 80 guns, and I may have to modify it just ever so slightly to uh, to get it to fit in there. But uh, I'm gonna make a race gun out of it, so I'm gonna probably cut it out for an optic and stuff later. But uh, you know, for just the Glock 17 or the I can't remember what the long slide model would be. Uh, you know, a couple of magazines. You can leave a magazine in the gun. That is, it's just a handy case. And I know a lot of people are going, okay, so it's a case, big deal. I don't have another generic case here to show you the difference in quality. But this thing is stout. And, and I mean, it's just pistol case. It's uh, I believe the retail price point on it's right around twenty five dollars, and the uh, foam insert is right around twenty dollar bill, nineteen twenty bucks. Uh, but it is you know you can put padlocks on it. It is solid. The hinges are not. That's the problem with doing reviews on certain stuff. Uh, the video just you have a hard time seeing how heavy the quality is as far as you know for pistol case that it's 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 extremely well built but uh we'll talk about the pistol case more later they uh, also were kind of enough to send me the iron clasp rifle case now this thing is a tank uh, it is I guess the best way we put it I mean it, it, it's got to be competitive to say a pelican case uh, the latches are really well put together and they are these twist lock and uh we are uh, probably, knowing me, going to throw the put a gun in this and throw it off of stuff. Uh, 
but it is very well and I just super well constructed I just there it, it like I said it's hard in video to explain how how rugged something is or how stout something is but this the minute I picked up the box I was like and I don't even mean this box I mean the cardboard box that came in I was like wow what is that that can't be this rifle case because it is it's heavy it's put together uh you know, they sent me handy, and I'm sure they send any, everybody this, this handy dandy, uh, the Velcro, I don't know, I guess you put them on the inside of the gun safe or something. I'm not even sure what those are for. And this cool little, uh, you know, credit card tool. It's got different functions, and they even have a card on the functions that it has. Which, it, you know, somebody believes in these and somebody thinks these are great. Uh, you know, saw blade, a widget wrench. The hell is a widget wrench? But these things do have their purpose. Uh, they are handy in range boxes for adjusting sights, little different size bolts and all that they're, they're they're cute and they're fun is it needed no it's metal so okay great but now i for whatever reason they feel the need to send it uh maybe there's a whole lot more purpose to this than what i understand but uh i mean some people give away pens and other people give away widget wrenches <laughs> so let's talk about the rifle case uh the iron clasp is just that this thing is stout now i've already put a rifle in here and uh the reason i did is i kind of in addition to talking to people about this case i wanted to talk about the first thing people do which is so you shouldn't do is they get these things they lay the rifle in it and they start ripping the pick and pluck foam apart and then they go oh shit i wished i wouldn't have put the gun there or i wished i would have moved it ever so slightly so this is a winchester model 70 270 short wind mag actually the beauty of this is I am getting ready to fly and uh, go do some hunting and I'm going to hunt with this rifle. This is an airline approved case. So that's, that makes this extremely handy. There is two layers of this pick and pluck foam. Now I can't imagine that what kind of optics or whatever you might have in here that you need to go down through two layers uh, but it's there but here's the thing if you mess up the top layer you could probably pretty easily swap them over and put your uh, or just get a piece of solid foam and put underneath it so you have two runs of the pick and pluck now you can easily order another layer of foam for this uh, you can get it from Cedar Mill I'm sure you can get it other places uh, but what I'm doing is what I kind of feel like I'm going to be doing is obviously I have my rifle laid out where it's going to be laid out. I'm going to most likely take and put a, uh, a set of ammunition. Uh, I'm going to get the, the plastic and I wish I had one here, the plastic inserts that come in random boxes and just the insert mount it vertically instead of flat down into the foam or i may do it over here but uh there's a good bit of real estate in this this will not you're not going to get an ar platform or an ak platform gun in here this is this is a bolt gun uh a bolt gun case obviously but you know this is a full-length barrel 
model 70. Uh, I don't know. Don't make me lie to you. I think it's 22 inches. It may be. I, I wish I'd take my measure, measure it. I'm pretty sure it's 22 inch barrel gun. Might be a 20 inch. I'm pretty sure it's 22. And I've got a good bit of room left on the end. Uh, a good solid two inches. And I've got a solid three and uh, two, three, yeah, three inches past the barrel. And this is the long barrel gun. Now, uh, height wise, I don't have a super wide objective scope on this. Uh, but again, plenty of real estate for the uh, to put the gun in there. Like I said, this this case is not going to hold your super ninja seal long range turtle killing gun or whatever you you know some of the stuff coming out is but that's not what this case was intended to do and to be honest 99 percent of the people out there buying a case to isn't going to put one of them goofy looking guns in in a case and start flying with it or just you know travel with it in general uh so i uh this is perfect me it's perfect for this winchester 70 uh i actually have a taller little taller objective uh 270 short or this is a short wind mag i have a taller objective 270 uh weatherby that the barrel is just a little bit shorter than this gun now, that's why i think this is a 22 and i'm pretty sure that weatherby is a 20 inch barrel uh and i wanted to put the longest one i had in here in here so uh yeah it it fits beautifully and solid case i i, I just don't know what else to say we are going to test it we are going to throw this thing off to some stuff uh, we may or may not drive things over it. Uh, I don't know. We're, uh, we're going to give it a good uh, good testing because that's what they wanted. Uh, but just as the preliminary, the feel of it, uh, I have some Pelican cases. And this thing is every, every bit as stout as a Pelican case. Uh, it's got a... You know, an O-ring seal in it that's very, very, you know, it's not going to lay any dust, dust or water, and I guarantee you that. Um, but back to setting up these rifle cases. I've made this mistake more than once uh, with these pick and plucks. Put the gun in it. Leave it in there for a little bit, and it will form and press and mold the gun down into the pick and pluck. Then it's really easy to tell where your gun's laying. This one's been in there for maybe 20 or 30 minutes and already the scope is indented. Uh, but the point of it is you can move stuff. You move it around. You don't have to form fit this the moment you get this case. More to the point, you shouldn't. You can easily set the gun in there, easily set the gun in there and close this case. And it is sandwiched in there, trust me. Uh, but then you can, once you've decided the way you want your layout, then go ahead and pick your, your foam and inlay the gun into it. Uh, probably the biggest mistake and biggest complaint I hear from people with these, uh, to get these styles cases the, the, with the pick and plucks is... Man, I wished I wouldn't have just jumped. The minute I got it, the first thing I did was, ooh, I want to inlay my gun into that foam. Don't do it. Give it a little bit of time. Uh, let the gun sit. Fit some other things into it. Uh, really think over what your intentions are as far as, uh, you know, what you're going to do with the rifle. What you're gonna, the purpose of the case, what you're, what you're gonna be carrying it for, so on and so forth. So uh, these, uh, man, I, I, I am overly 
you know, in the gun industry, it's pretty tough to impress guys that have been around for extended periods of time. Uh, you know, a case is a case is a case is a case, right? Well, maybe not. Uh, I have to set you down here for a minute. There we go. Uh, now I've got, and you can see, you know, I've got this gun in here to mash it in there, and this latch is just very easily lock it over. They're also got these handy dandy. Uh, online uh, it's got the air relief valve for flying so uh, you can depressurize and all that stuff you can also uh, you know, keep moisture out so on and so forth I guarantee you when this thing's locked down you don't have to worry about that there's not going to be any Hey, there's a test. We'll throw this bastard in the water and uh, see what happens. Uh, we can do that in a bathtub, can't we? Not a bad idea. We will uh, we'll see how waterproof it is. We will uh, you know, see all of that. Maybe we'll do that. <laughs> Maybe we'll bathtub test it today. But uh, Cedar Mill Fud Firearms. Now, here's the fun part. There's coupon code in the description of this video. The day I'm making this video, that coupon code works. There's a link beside that coupon code to bring you to Cedar Mill Fine Firearms, where you can get this iron class case for 99 bucks. That's a deal. Uh, that's a very good deal. And I'd like to thank the guys at Cedar Mill for uh, allowing me to offer that to you guys. But, uh, there's code in the description. Uh, if it's not in the description, it will be the pinned comment underneath. Sometimes YouTube, which is owned by Google, which is very anti-gun, makes putting links in the description extremely difficult. Uh, so if there is not a link in the description it will be the pinned comment in the comment section of this uh, when I know for a fact that it's gone I will take that code down but it is going to run for a while so uh, now you guys have the opportunity to uh, to sorry I like to play with things uh, you have the opportunity to uh, get a very, very, very solid case for you know ninety nine dollar price point, and that is you know regularly these these things are hundred forty, hundred fifty dollars somewhere in there. Uh, that's a good deal. So uh, you will always be able to find Cedar Mill. Uh, at their website obviously but you all always be able to find them at my website a link to them uh, be it in the affiliate program or what have you at uh, daily2a.com so uh, please go ahead and check out daily2a uh, there I have a collection of all of the the best daily deals you can find on the internet whether it's ammunition guns cases holsters uh you name it that's for that the, there's there's a little bit of everything on there every day it's the best deals we can find i'm not the only person out there finding deals for it so it really what it does is it takes three or four of us that are really efficient at finding you know, we know all the places to go for good ammo deals or for good holster deals or whatever. And uh, we've kind of got them all collected into one place. So uh, check out daily2a.com. Check out 
Cedar Mill Fine Firearms. You can get to them through us or you can get to them directly. I'll have that link down in the description too. Uh, sometimes if you link through us, you'll find different deals than what you'll find uh, just going straight there. That's how this, that's how the affiliate world works nowadays. So uh, I really appreciate uh, the folks at Cedar Mill for allowing me the opportunity to uh, to test this case. So uh, yeah, let's go put something in it and put it under water. So the uh, the Cedar Mill Fine Firearms gun, which we do in fact, I haven't changed anything from where I left this video off. I thought that's you know they claim that this thing is waterproof so uh, we're gonna put that to the test honestly uh, I'm not at this moment going to put it in the bathtub because well I don't want to get in trouble later although it may end up in the bathtub before this is all over but what we do have is remember when I said it's raining so let's just give it a real world test you know make sure that air valve's closed but uh that's the first thing we need to do is give it a real world test then maybe we'll uh give it a not so real world test later they said this is engineered to float so we'll test that as well uh We will uh, set it out here. I'm going to set the camera up in time-lapse mode. Trying to find the best place where the water comes through. But we're just going to let it set out there. I'm going to set my camera into time-lapse and set it here. and We'll leave it out there a couple hours and see what happens. There is a rifle inside, so... We'll put this in time lapse. All right, our case has been outside in the rain for a while now. Uh, you can see it's good and wet. I will take this and let's see if we got any water inside. That's kind of a, a real world, you know, accidentally gets left in the rain. What happens? I'm going to guess that little drop of water is when the lid opened. So it seems to seal pretty good. And, uh, it is definitely, I mean, it got, I don't know how much time lapse the camera died somewhere, but I set the time lapse up. It sat out there in the rain for a solid two hours. And uh, now you can see, now I've got a nice imprint of the gun going. So I'm still not ready to do my pick and pluck flum yet. I want to leave the gun in here and uh, make sure this is, you know, where I really want it to live as far as the components the next thing i'm probably going to do is uh oh, i need to make sure it's back in the exact spot i had it the next thing i'm going to do with it is uh you know i'm going to fit some you know bullet holders right there for it but uh so far so good it uh it definitely like i said a couple of drops of water i think are on the foam or from when i let open the lid because it's got uh, you know, water all over it so uh we're gonna come up with something else we can do to test this case while we let it continue to press my gun indention in there for before i pull the phone and uh we'll be back here shortly all right guys so our cedar mill uh 
case here. I've let the rifle sit in it. We're about to take it out and uh, throw it in the lake. But I feel like before I do that, I feel like the gun is holding the case open just a whisker because I haven't pulled the foam yet. So I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this. It's pretty self-explanatory, but I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I've had the gun in here now for about two days, and I have now got the, whoops, I've got this beautiful indent of the rifle. So now I can literally just go through, and it's pick and peel foam for a reason. I go through, and I'm going to pick and peel the foam lines out. And I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me do this, but I'm going to pick and peel everything out all through those lines. And then I'm going to set the gun down in there. So I'm going to pick and peel it, and then I'll come back and show you my finished result. All right, so I pulled the pick and peel out, and I've inlaid this gun to, uh, I'm going to take and like razor cut here and here to make it match a little better. And then uh, I'm going to, and I might pull a little bit more out right there, but after I get this all done, I'm going to get some spray adhesive, and I'm going to adhere this top layer of foam to the next one, which you don't have to do. But once you get it inlaid, you can kind of see where you need to get it, you know, pulled down from. And I kind of believe now, oh, that already fits tighter. So now I can really suck this top down. And you can see these clamps, these locks are fantastic. They really just pull it down and seal the case very well. Uh, so we're going to take it out and we're going to throw it in the lake and let's see they say it'll float because it's you know designed to float so that's what we're going to test all right so it's really windy out here we are at beautiful clow lake in clow pennsylvania pennsylvania leaves are changing colors it is pretty but we're here to do the float test on our cedar mill fine firearms case they uh i tied it off gun's still in there i promise you uh so i thought well you know i can just take it and set it down in the water and see if it floats but if you've got your prize benelli you know duck gun in there or whatever and it falls off a boat that's not how it's going to happen so we're going to take it and we're going to chuck it out into the middle of the lake and then I am going to uh, to uh, put this on time lapse for a little bit. My plan is to leave it in there for you know 20 minutes, half hour, somewhere in there. So there's case. There's the water. I'm sure I'm not going to get it around my ankle and end up swimming. And there's a swimming floating case. So I'm going to stick it on time lapse and we're going to let our case float. All right, it's been fro floating. I couldn't really keep it in frame. It keeps moving around, but it's been fro floating a while. Let's bring it over here to the boat ramp. I've had the latches submerged a couple of times. Let's just see. Not seeing a whole lot of bubbles. But now I do have wet feet. So. Let's take her up to the truck and see what we got. All right, still at the lake, obviously. Just untied it. Let's see. A 
and you can see that air valve was completely submerged. I'm going to say the moisture was from opening the lid because it's bubbled, it's beads. I think it did okay. So it passed the water test. Like I said, it was submerged. You know, you saw me stand on it. So uh, even if I'm not willing to say that was water seeping in. So I'm not. Alright guys, we're going to give Cedar Mills a couple thumbs up. So uh, I know it's windy. Appreciate you guys watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Check out Cedar Mill. There's a link below in the uh, pin post or in the description. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. Check out uh, daily2a.com for daily deals on products like Cedar Mill and more. Appreciate you guys watching. Have a good day.